Hello and welcome. This is Steve from Whiskey and Red Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit text throughout your site, both on pages and in what's called widgets, which are the text boxes located in your sidebar and footer areas. So we'll just go ahead and jump right in here. What I like to do when I'm editing text throughout a site is to take a look at things on the front end. I make sure, of course, that I'm logged into WordPress, so I get this nice little menu bar up on top in order to make these edits. But what I like to do is orient myself on the front page here so that when I look into the back end, I know exactly where to find that text that I want to target and edit. So if I scroll down here on this page, I'll see the text that I want to target is located just right here below this slider. So there's two ways to get into the back end to edit this. One way is, using this menu that we talked about already, is this edit page function will take us directly to the back end of this specific page so we can make our edits. The other way to get there is in our dashboard, on the left hand side, there's a nice little pages menu that will bring up this menu here. I can scroll down, I can find the exact page that I want to target and open this up to edit. Either way, we're going to end up right here on the back end of this specific page. So here you can get a little glimpse of Visual Composer and how it correlates to the front end of the site. So I'll go ahead and jump back here. We have our slider right here and then we have our image and our text box right here in the next row. So what this looks like on the back end is just the slider row here and then the next row that has our image and our text on the right hand side. So if I want to edit the text in this box here, I just hover over the element in Visual Composer. In this example, it's our text block and I select this pencil, which will give us our nice little WordPress word processor pop up here. Now, this word processor has a lot of different functions here to be able to edit and make our text uh, styled and different. Um, but as far as our purpose is here to edit specific text without affecting the styles that we have on the page, because some of the sites that we build have heavy inline styles to make sure that things and headings and other places look really different and branded and specific. So what our visual tab here does is just show us the visual on-page text. The preferred method, and what I always recommend, is to click this text tab here, especially when dealing with pages. Um, you'll see here we have a little bit of HTML, and it's definitely not as scary as it looks. All we have is our opening tag and our closing tag, and then the text in the middle is what we on, want to edit. So it looks just like the visual tab if you look at it in that sense. Um, our opening tag here is what's going to possess all of our inline styles. So for right now, for this example, it's pretty simplified, not a lot going on. Uh, but if there is more, all you're looking for is the end little bracket here that's going to show the complete end of the opening tag and then again our closing tag. So if I wanted to edit the text in between, I can target the text. So for this example here, I'm just going to remove this little phrase here and complete the sentence there. Then all I do is come down here and click save. And then what I always recommend is using the preview function when we can here on WordPress. By using this, none of the changes I've made so far are live, but I get an opportunity to look at the front end and make sure that the changes that I wanted to make are in fact the changes that got made. So here we are, we've removed that last little phrase and we still have our formatting, everything is still intact. So at this point, I would go back to the edit screen and hit update to make those changes live. Now, these changes here and the example here applies to not just your pages, but to your blog posts, your portfolio items, and your products. Um, they'll all use Visual Composer or that WordPress word processor window that we saw uh, and any combination of those two. So very straightforward on how to edit text across the site. Now we'll jump over here and we'll talk about sidebar text. This also applies to your footer. Either way, it's what WordPress calls a widget. So if you look at my little blog here that I constructed for this video, you'll see my sidebar here and the text that I want to target right here. So the way to find this text, I go into my dashboard and on the left hand side, I can hover over appearances and select widgets. And then I'll get this menu right here. Now I only have widgets in our blog sidebar, but the same rule applies to our footer boxes as well. All I do is select that text box that I want to edit. So for us, it's right here. And just like that text tab in our little WordPress word processor, I just look for our opening tag and our closing tag 
and I find the text right in between that we want to edit. And then I make my changes here. So let's say we just wanted to eliminate a word and then I would hit save. Now for widgets, there's no preview function. So we want to just pay special attention to the corrections or changes that we're making before we click the save button. Once we click that, the changes are live. So you can hit save here and then you could go to the front end, reload the page and see your changes live on the site. If you have any further questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments below. Or if you just found this video to be valuable, please feel free to add a comment and to check out our other WordPress tutorials in the Whiskey and Red channel. Thanks for watching.